and welcome to another Spartan Athletics webcast for the basketball teams. Well, the women's basketball team had a tough road trip at Louisiana Tech and New Mexico State last week, dropping both contests, and now they come home for the last two WAC conference games at home this season. They will play Nevada tomorrow, Wednesday, and then on Saturday play Fresno State. Here to talk more about, about the women's team is head coach Tim Lacoste. All right, Coach, uh, so you played two close games on the road, and it's a really tough road trip to go on to go to Louisiana Tech and then come back to New Mexico State. Uh, again, two cl tough games, close games. How did you feel that the team played? Yeah, we coming off the big win in Hawaii and then fly to Louisiana, uh, a couple flights and a little bus trip. Uh, but we played some of our best basketball of the year at Louisiana. We were dominant in the second half, uh, had a big lead, and then uh, unfortunately we went away from the things that got us that lead, and it cost us. You got four games in the WAC left, two at home uh, coming this week. Where do you, you feel the team's at? I mean, there's still plenty of room to vault up in the standings. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the, the team realizes that uh, we let a, a, quite a few get away. In the last five games, we've been up in the second half of each of those games. Uh, but again, get, we go away from those things that guys those leads. Uh, so I think those are some hard lessons learned. And uh, I think the team is prepared both mentally and physically now to um, play a complete game and learn from those past mistakes. And that's what we're looking to do. It's all about the momentum going to the WAC tournament. But th this weekend, two home games, last two home games of the season. Um, and not only are there two special occasions going on this week, but it's, a, it's another chance to, uh, to kind of establish yourself, reestablish yourself, and, and get the momentum back a little bit. Yeah, um, we play a Wednesday game tomorrow against uh, Nevada, it's our pink game. Um, so special cause, breast cancer awareness, and you know our team and, and staff have been uh, greatly affected by that. Um, and so it's, it's a, a great night uh, of basketball for a great cause. Um, and then Saturday, we are our last home game, it'll be senior, senior day, and you know, our seniors have had a great year. Now, I'm really proud of what they've accomplished and helped turn this thing around. Uh, you know, Brittany Johnson is a top scorer in the, in the conference. Uh, Sarah is one of the top shooters in the conference. Uh, Mai is one of the, the top percentage shooters in the conference. And Palangi does a lot of the uh, hustle plays for us. You know, so those, those four really want to finish on a high note, and this will be the last chance for Spartan fans to see them here at home. Now, the Wednesday game that you mentioned, is, is that a little, I mean, it's a different, different day for conference play. Is it a little different in terms of preparation for you guys? Yeah, we just got back Sunday. We were in the gym yesterday uh, kind of reviewing what, what happened over the road trip and trying to get us ready to turn the page for the next game. And that's be our preparation today is go over the scouting report for Nevada. So it's a quick turnaround, bang, bang, and, and then we'll have that same drum roll for Saturday's game. Yeah, but an extra day at least to, to prep for Saturday's game. Yeah, uh, one less day to prep for tomorrow and one more game to prep for Saturday. Uh, but we're just looking at it, two practices play, two practices play, mm -hmm. and um, hopefully uh, it will bode well for us. And are the players going to be wearing pink on, uh, on Wednesday? Yeah, they got their pink jerseys. Uh, coaches will have uh, their pink attire, and there will be uh, pink T-shirts given out. So come early. All right, thanks, Coach, for joining me again. Thank you. Again, the women's team will play at home on Wednesday and Saturday this week. An odd start on Wednesday in conference play, but it will be the pink game and also senior day this week for the women's team. For the men's team, they will hit the road once more for the final time in WAC conference play, in the regular season anyway, and they will play Louisiana Tech on Thursday and New Mexico State on Saturday. Here to talk more about the men's team is head coach George Nesman. Well, no question that any wins are, are forward movement for us. We won two of our last three. We, we certainly had a chance to beat Hawaii a big chance to beat Hawaii up 14 with what, 11 minutes to go and a, a chance to knock off Nevada as well. So I think the trend is really going in the right direction for our team. Our results are still a little uneven. We, we would like to have more wins. We'd like to have won at least one of those two games. And, and, but I, I think the, the meter's going in the right direction. Um, what I was encouraged with up at Sac State was this. We were down 12 on the road. And, and to be honest, it wasn't that we were playing horribly. Sac State was playing really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were out playing us, and, and they're really uh, taking advantage of some of the things we do and uh, well prepared for us. And our guys just like took it to another notch and, and just kept competing and, and got more efficient. And so our fight back was really focused on playing better basketball. Right. I think we had a stretch there where we scored like 16 out of 18 possessions. That's pretty efficient um, and took over the game. And so you take over the last 15 minutes of that game, we outscored them by 24 points on, on the road. That's pretty good. 
Sac State's been a good home court team this year, so that was a, it was a good. There, there's not a lot of downsides to that, and we felt and, and we felt it'll help our guys go, going forward too. I was actually going to ask you about the 16 possession streak. Is that something that is kind of reflective of the least less turnovers this year, or is that something different? Well, I think our turnover rate has been low the last three years. I think two years ago we were in the top 10 in the country, and we've been in the top third to fourth consistently over the last three, four seasons. Uh, yeah, if you don't turn the ball over, you have a chance to score in those kind of stretches. Ironically, in the first half, we had a turnover problem up at Sac State. We, t we were careless with the ball a couple times, and, and they made us pay for it. Um, I think it's just growing maturity of our team. Mm -hmm. Understanding that fighting back isn't just about getting intense. It's about playing better basketball and making the right basketball play, as well as making the extra effort, dive on the floor stuff. you got to do that to win, and I think we've been doing that consistently for a while. But our guys have often mistaken that for playing better, and it isn't always the case. And so we just got more efficient. We stayed with it. We, we kept working for good shots, and we started making them, and I thought that was really the story of Sacramento. This time of year, you want your players to be as healthy as possible. How's the health of the team? Well, we're, we're nicked up like every team. We have some bumps and bruises, but we don't, we don't have anybody out right now, and that's a good thing. Uh, Scotty's treating a number of our guys on an ongoing basis, but, but that you know, comes to territory. If you play as hard as a, a college basketball team does, like we do, and over an extended period, you're going to have some, some, some things go wrong. Uh, so we'll just knock on wood, and, and uh, hopefully that will hold, because uh, uh, injuries are obviously an important part of any season. Um, we, we go back a couple years. You know, Adrian Oliver sophomore year, we were really playing well, and he got hurt, and you know, really hurt our team. We were on, we were tracking to be a postseason team, just really right there, and and just losing one or two guys in basketball can really damage your team. Um, so we're just going to have to stay positive there, and, and hopefully that holds for us, and we stay healthy. This Saturday at Las Cruces, uh, another prostate awareness game, and uh, a third of the I think a third of the coaches in the NCAA are going to be wearing bow ties. Are you going to be participating? Yes, we will. Uh, we definitely are. We're wearing blue bow ties, and uh, we're proud to do so. And, you know, we already, we already talked about this topic, and it is very dear to me, and it's something that I, I'm personally concerned about, and I know most people are. And so we do it without reservation, and hesitation. Of course, of course, we'll participate when, when we were asked if we would. All right, coach. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Justin. That'll do it for this week's episode. Again, the women's team play two final games at home in the regular season WAC play on Wednesday and Saturday, Nevada and Fresno State. The men's team on the road at Louisiana Tech and New Mexico State. You can always check this webhouse out on the YouTube channel or sjsuspartans.com.